Good evening, welcome to We Repair. Uh, so today I'm working on a Samsung Galaxy Tab A. This is the SMX205 model. Um, as you can see, it is pretty battered. Uh, so I'm gonna treat this as a teardown, mainly because I want some of the parts that are inside this device. I bought another one of these that I wanna recover. Um, so today we're just gonna do a complete teardown of this device and see how we can do. I've not fully torn these one of these down before. As you'll have seen, hopefully in a previous video, I've done a screen replace on these um, and I've walked you through that process. So today we're gonna to take it apart and have a little bit of a voyage of discovery because I don't know how this all comes apart. Um, so, I'm going to be a little bit aggressive with this on the basis that it is battered. I mean, the case is completely shot. Uh, it is it is slightly bent, as you'll see. Uh, I bought this on eBay because uh, I wanted the parts from it to repair something else for a whopping, and uh, don't laugh when I tell you, a whopping £10. So that's going to be probably around eight US dollars, I would have thought. Uh, around 10-ish euros, so uh, we're going to take this apart today. As I say, I don't really care about most of the innards, so I'm going to be a little bit more rough than I would be normally. Um, I have already heated this up as well, so the tablet is not roasting hot, but warm to the touch. So we're just going to see how much glass we can get out. I am wearing eye protection as well, so if you do do this kind of repair and you have got a shattered device, please do wear eye protection, because the last thing you want to get is a glass in your eye. Right, so that's our screen out. Let me just get rid of some of these bits of glass so that I'm not gonna hurt myself and everything else should come out pretty freely. Hopefully it'll just come off in one go, more or less. The bit that I'm mainly interested in, personally, is the board. So I think what we'll do is we'll keep unscrewing screws until we've released it. I don't think there will be that many that we'll need to free. Right, let's get this mess tidied up first and then we'll carry on stripping down the device and uh, see if we can get the whole thing apart and rescue the motherboard. Right, voyage into the unknown at this point. So, if we're looking at this, I believe this is probably the speaker assembly down here, just by the grills. And I'm assuming there's gonna be a camera under here as well. So let's free that first, as I think that looks like the easiest bit to get out, and it's also over the top of the board. Is there speakers at that end as well? Yes, there are, and a charge dock, so then we'll do that piece afterwards. So I think we'll just keep removing these screws until we've got the thing apart. As I say, I'm not, overly bothered about how this comes out on the basis that I only really want the motherboard and the battery. And that is for a secret upcoming project. Which as you may have guessed involves another one of these tablets. <laughs> I'm not being too careful about these screws because I'm not going to be putting these back in. I'm intrigued to see how easy this is to repair. I'm very intrigued to see how easy the charge port is to repair on these. Because historically they've been soldered to the board. And obviously for Joe Blogs it's not that easy. Right. Okay, it's hooked under. Just there it's hooked under. I think we're going to find that's the case all the way. There we go. So it is just clipped in. So is there something there? I don't know what that's for. It doesn't look like it's connected to the board. There's the camera. And there's a piece there as well. So that's quite interesting. That's a one full speaker assembly and then it obviously connects up to these pins back here. So whatever, however you do this, you're always gonna have to remove that first. Interesting stuff. Okay, so we've got our camera here. Let's see if we can get that off as well. Uh, 
Let's grab. I'll just take that off of there. Now, is this just going to unclip? I assume it's just going to unclip. Yeah, there you go. There's our rear facing camera. Just unclips. How loose is this board? There's a chance that that's actually glued down. So let's keep working around the screws though. Uh, I'll do this end next, I think. I'm assuming it's just going to be pressure held in with screws again. I'm really interested to know how easy it is to replace the USB-C port on these though. Really interested. Because that's uh, one that my kids have definitely damaged on other devices. I know on the uh, the newer Apple devices, it's all completely soldered in and it's nigh on impossible to replace. Certainly on the 8th uh, gen iPads, it's it's on a flex that's soldered to the board. I'm uh, not comfortable enough to do that myself. I think uh, my soldering skills need to come a very long way for that one. There's a lot of screws holding this in. One more there. Right, there are flex cables attached to the bottom of this, so that's attached to that flex. I'm not going to pull that. Let's just see if we can get this out and how easy it's going to come out. Oh, in answer to our question, guys, it's not easy at all. Let's just check I haven't missed any screws. I don't think there's any under there. I might just have to pry it, which seems risky to me, but let's just... Let's have a go. Is it going to be like the other one? Yeah, it's, it's just held in really firmly. It's just clipped. Oh, there we go. It literally is just clipped into place, but that's really strong clips. So again, there's our, our speaker assembly from the bottom. I'm intrigued as to how much of a pain that's going to be to put back. Nice side though, the USB-C assembly is, uh, is completely separate. So it's held in, I'm assuming by clips and just a ribbon. So, that ribbon just going to come out. Yeah, look at that. So you've got a ribbon there which takes your motherboard to your USB-C assembly and your, what's that, an SD card reader? Yeah, so there you go. Let's see if this is going to come out. I'm assuming this is either just pressure held in or it's glued. Hmm, might be glued. Yeah, it is. It's just glued. What I should have done there first was <laughs> taking the SIM card tray out. Can I get to that from this side? Because I haven't got the SIM tray on me. There you go. And that, again, detaches. So there's your SIM tool. I'm assuming that's a sensor. No, that's the... Oh, wow, okay. The headphones jack is actually completely independently replaceable. That's amazing. Cool. And again, I assume this is probably just glued in uh, with some fairly strong adhesive on the other side. There you go. So there's your C port as well. Right, got a few more screws to undo uh, just for what looks like the camera assembly. So let's just undo all of those. I'm assuming there's either it's either glued in or there's a flex there that goes to the buttons. So I'm going to make the assumption as well that this plastic bracket is glued or clipped in like everything else seems to be. Oh, there you are, it's clipped in. So that's all detached. Right. Okay, front camera. Does that come out? Yeah, there you go, front camera. Nice. So, this board has got to be glued. Oh, no, it's not. It's just now I've unfreed everything, it's completely loose. So there's our motherboard. Uh, a few aerials there on the back. Yeah, and it's pressure fit look to the, to the buttons, which is interesting. Where does that go? Let's have a look again. 
so it's those pins, those pins there are our power volume buttons on that side. Wow, okay. And then we've just got this one more piece here, which I don't know what this is. To be honest with you, I don't know if I can be bothered to get it out because it's welded to the board. I'd imagine if I buy a back case. Wow, that's tightly put on there. Okay, that's a microphone. Tiny little mic. Interesting stuff. Cool, so let's see how easy this Samsung battery is to get out. If it's anything like the Apple ones, it'll be a flipping nightmare. Wow, I'm really impressed that that's come out in one piece. Let's see, if we, do, we th do we think we can get four for four? That's the question. <laughs> no, instant fail. Hopefully if I can th free up two or three of them. Let's be a bit more gentle with this one. There we go. That's two. We managed two out of three. Can we get three out of three? What are we reckoning? Hey, we managed to get three out of three. Right, let's do this very carefully now, kids. We shouldn't really pry up on a battery. I'm just trying to find a point to get at it. You do not want to pierce this, so just be very, very careful if you have to do what I'm about to do. It's just because I cannot get to that adhesive now. We might need some heat. see it just of there. If I can just get the end of that tape. Uh, I'm going to do this very carefully guys so please do not copy what I'm about to do which is to try and get that tape. No I can't get it. Okay I'll we'll just have to keep going with the prying until I can get it. It's always a pain when those tabs break, because it stuffs you royally. Oh, there we go, might have it now. Let's see if we can get it again. We might be able to get that. Right, there we go. Right, there we go, got it. That is a pain, and I really didn't want to do that with the back of the battery. But that is now out. So it's not too bad, actually. In the grand scheme of things, that's okay to repair. I'm quite impressed with Samsung this time. I wouldn't want to try and replace these flexes, and imagine that's going to be a bit of a nightmare. But overall, I'm actually really impressed with how easily that comes apart. So there you go, a bit of a voyage of discovery there. It's, uh, it's not too bad to do a Samsung Tab A8 uh, with all the bits and bobs in there. I'm, I'm very impressed with how that comes apart. I think it's very repairable compared to some of their previous generation tablets that have not been. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm impressed. Good, okay, well, if you found that useful and uh, it's helped you repair your own job, then, uh, your own tablet, then please drop me a like, leave me a comment, um, say thank you, <laughs> say hello. Uh, I do try and respond to everything, as I say, and uh, yeah, hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.